Anyway, Mr. Sholmes, look! You never know where he's gonna turn up next, do you? Seems to be stealing a look at something as he sings to himself. Right, right, right. I did it the great detective way. It's okay, I have a weapon though. I had to turn off my uh, air conditioner because it's loud. I don't want to, you know, have to disturb my amazing audio quality. I normally drink like room temperature water and cold water. Dose singing, do you think he hasn't noticed us? Or he's simply in extremely high spirits? Yes, there were times, I'm sure you knew. When the yard bit off more than it could chew. And through it all, when there was doubt, it's all lucky her luck was about. Excuse me. I solved it all, I stood tall. I did it the great detective way. Oh, by the way, I did look up what year this game takes place. It's never specified, but it's almost definitely the late 1890s. That was 20 years off. Mr. Sholmes! He just died and then teleported up. <laughs> what is it? You want to fight? Hmm? Honestly, interrupting a fellow when he's singing. It's about to reach a cl climactic finish. What is he doing with his arms? Doing a dance? Dance boxing. So I thought you were never going to stop. So I figured now is as good as time as any. Very nearly dropped you to the floor with my one of my famous right hooks. <gasps> he knows Burrito. All right, I get the picture. Now, could he put those fists away? They better make a Burrito joke. Now, for those unaware, uh, in their Sherlock Holmes novels, Sherlock Holmes knows a fictional martial art called Burrito, which I think is just like a miss not even ty typo just a misunderstanding of like karate or something like you know doyle it, it fake grand order jokes about it a lot anyway mr sholmes you seem to be examining something before we interrupted you oh yes that i was immersed in study of the ship's log that's penned by the stockily built crewman who is usually on guard here oh yes the ship's log do you find out anything useful from it well, to 2 a.m. this morning, the majority of the entries are blank. I was recording with the wrong scene in OBS, um, so, so I just cut it there when I realized it. Um, I'll, I'll just leave it as is, and you guys can withstand like two or three minutes of the window being too zoomed in, right? I don't want to re-record that. It's too hot for that. I mean, there's there's nothing to report. Nothing of note happened, so... No, but the guy was missing. <laughs> <laughs> Truly are a student from the land of the rising sun, but how do they blinded by it? <laughs> Sorry. Your logic, my boy, is inverted. Cool music. Whatever you do mean, Mr. Sholmes. Observe the other pages, and all shall become clear. It's in the same crewman off stand sentry in this first class passageway. And he has an almost religious practice of recording nothing to report every half hour. Oh, he writes that on every 30 minutes? Nothing to report? Precisely! What's a bully? The seaman writes nothing to report when they stress that. And yet... The ship's log from last night is largely blank. He didn't even write nothing to report. You mean... Yes. There were circumstances afoot last night, led to the seaman being absent from his post. Well, the time, well, no, I guess the time checks out because it was after 1.30, right? It was like 1.34 or something? Um, 1.35. Yeah, the times check out. What kind of circumstances? What happened? That remains a mystery for now, but we can be sure something significant took place. So significant that it caused the seaman to forget his regular habit of scribing nothing to report in the log. Question is, it, I think he made it sound like he fell asleep last night, right? Because I, I don't necessarily suspect the captain. Like right now, by process of elimination, the only real suspect is oh, Pavlova. But I, I don't think it's her.
but like who else would it be right <laughs> like probably it's probably gonna be the captain or someone but just the thing is they're being introduced so late into the game right like i imagine it has something to the revolutionary and i think they're trying to frame the dancer on it but like we're past the halfway point now aren't we just like it's weird right Normally, the culprit will be introduced by now. Although, I mean, I guess in Ace Attorney, that's not always true. Okay, the ship's log has been entered in the court record. Now, that deduction was worthy of a great detective. Oh, you're starting to understand what my way is, I see. Like, Sholmes. Sholmes. Brilliant. I want to read that. I got really nothing to report. It has his name on it. 9th of January. What is that? There's a line. Oh, there's lines everywhere. Why is there a magnifying glass? Can we... Wait, no, I wanted to see... Can I turn it around? No? What? We haven't had a magnifying glass before, have we? That's a little odd, isn't it? That's... You can't read that. Okay. Oh yeah, I haven't been presenting my badge to people. <laughs> Ooh, ouch. Uh, back hurt? What is it, are you okay hurt? Oh, don't worry yourself. Seem to be afflicted with a throbbing head this morning for some reason. Oh, okay, nothing more. So, Sholmes has it. Yunosuke has it. Um, what is it? Pavlova also said she had it? No, 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 Hosonaga said he had it, didn't he? But Suzal Suzato doesn't. Is it... Her? I'm not sure, I don't know where Holmes is staying. Well, my friends, until our next encounter. He's still singing to himself. You can hear it as he wanders off down the passageway. Something wrong, Suzato? Oh yeah, by the way, can you guys see my cursor? I think my cursor's been active the whole time and I didn't realize it. Can I, can I turn that off? Uh, properties? Say, so, I've had that turned off before. But I... If I remember it, I'll disable that later. It's just... Well... I feel the same. Oh, okay, okay, she has it too. Sorry. Ever since I woke this morning, I had something of a headache. Sort of continuous throbbing. So I wonder if it's food poisoning or like a gas. Oh, you too. Um, what's left? Do we go back to the... Maybe we had to talk to Holmes first? Yeah, okay, okay. What's that? Uh, Muv Love fans are getting PTSD right now. I haven't played Alternative, but I know. I know there's a siren. Trip down the entrance immediately! Vessel sighted a quarter mile four. Full stop! Hard to starboard. All hands brace for impact. What the? Think we're about to crash into another ship. What? Hey, I can't stand. Suzato, hold on to me! Wah! Quick, get in the cupboard! It's probably safe. Suzato, are you alright? Are you injured at all? I think I'm fine. Oh, this is where we have the anime scene where like he fell face first into her chest, right? Thank you, Nari Hodo san. But we don't even get a CG for it? It's weak. Looks like we avoided a collision. I think? Yes, the ship has come to a stop. My goodness, what about you, Naruhoto san? Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Shut up, Apollo. Hello, is anyone in there? Shout if you need assistance. Oh, the door's locked. That sounds like. Vector Hosonaga. 
That you in there, Nar Naruto. Unbolt the door. Quickly. What? The bolt? I didn't even realize the case got knocked over. Look at that. The door is bolted. Oh! Okay, I see. If, let's say everyone's food was, there's a sleeping gas or everyone's food was drugged, right? So everyone was knocked out. They wouldn't notice that the ship, you know, the captain had steered the ship and, you know, gone, and caused the door to be bolted in Cosmo's cabin. Did you do that, Suzato san? No, I didn't touch it. That's strange. How did, and, look at all the books. Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. It's just like they were before again. No, you heard son. Are you going to open the door and let the inspector in? Better tidy this place up first. <laughs> Why? Just let him in. A violent emergency stop had solved one mystery, at least, in a very vivid way. But I knew that what awaited us on the other side of the cabin door would not be pleasant. I heard around hiding up the cabin with a new sense of foreboding in my heart. Do we continue? I'll go. 12 minutes in, gotta keep going. Yep, sure. I'm gonna have to start overwriting saves soon. I think there's only 20? Yeah. Probably a limitation for the, you know, the 3DS. Then they just carried over to the PC port. 9th of January, SS Pura. Miss Pavlova's cabin. Better meet the captain? Somehow the door to the cabin we're in ended up bolted after we made an emergency stomp. Susato took a deep breath, then gently slid back the bolt. You! What are you doing in Miss Pavlova's quarters? Okay, so he... He knows. Oh, you both look unhurt. Good. Yes, we're fine. Thank you. What on earth happened? We heard something about how we we're going to collide with another ship. Yes. Appeared to have been a false report, though. Oh, how did that happen? There's a dense fog outside, so it's extremely difficult to see. Someone must have thought he saw a ship ahead. This person obviously triggered the alarm. That's why we made an emergency stop. Kinda wondering if someone thought was like doing that to trigger this idea in your nosuke. Everything is chaos. Passengers are screaming. We are running everywhere. This first class area is the only quiet part of the ship at the moment. Oh, I see. Someone triggered the alarm. Does that mean someone pressed that button outside? Yeah. Ah, oh, you, you wicked intruder. Dressed all in black. Wait, is there, she didn't let the snake out? You are the devil. Sorry, me? Been called a lot of things before. The devil is a first. You opened my traveling case. How could you? What? No, no, we didn't touch it. That's right, Miss Pavlova. It was already open when we came into your cabin. Inspector! Um, yes? I arrest this man! I know he did it! He's a criminal! Is it not enough that he has killed a man? Ah! The stowaway as well! Vixen promises not to steal chicken! Do you believe? Um... Take him away! He's a trespasser as well as everything else! Stowing away, trespassing, killing. She is right. You are a devil. Doesn't look good, does it? There's a cell below deck. Throw him in! Tomorrow we dock in Hong Kong. Then we give you straight to police. Wait, a cell? Oh, okay. Are we getting a trial then? Please, Inspector Hosonaga. Is there nothing you can do? This is a Russian vessel. We really have no jurisdiction here. After my last effort to appeal to the captain's good nature, I think I'm out of options. This is terrible. This is a real crisis. Gotta find a solution. 
immediately. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna leave, guys. It's been nice to know. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my cabin. Yes. Pavlova first. Miss Pavlova, can I get out? Listen, I'm sorry that we stuck in here without your permission, but get out now. We just need to investigate in here to help understand what happened to. Um, get out in Russian. So if only I'd watched that anime, I'd know how cute Russian girls speak. Dang it, should have watched it. It's no use. She's not going to listen. You need to find someone who will. You guys know what I'm talking about? I read a cap couple chapters of the manga, but I wasn't into it. Um, Oyo-san, I think? Like the new hate rom-com that everyone's into because they have bad taste. Please just give me a little more time. I do nothing for you. Except show you in a ship's prison cell. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. But I'm innocent. I didn't kill anyone. And trespassing? And stowing away. Well, um, you know, sometimes life can lead you down unusual avenues, and well. Enough! You are guilty! Trip cells only place fit for you. Come on, there has to be someone, some savior to rescue me from this crisis. Oh, Sodaga! My buddy! <laughs> Go get beat up for me again. You've got yourself into a difficult situation here. By entering this cabin uninvited, I mean. Sorry, I was so desperate to find a clue. Afraid there's really nothing more I can do to help you. Oh, Zonaga! If I push my luck any further, punch to the face will be the least of my worries. You said you'd put your life on the line for me, buddy. Go, go do it, literally. <laughs> really sorry. I have to take responsibility for giving you the freedom to investigate Miss Pavlova's cabin. Now this has happened, I have to report to the captain at once. Really need some help here. The savior to rescue me from this crisis. <laughs> okay, whenever he said that at Hosanaga, it's like, okay, he has to be on this. Yeah, okay. What the? What are you doing up there? Mr. Sholmes! Oh. <laughs> okay. I didn't even realize. Um, the TR wasn't in the room when we investigated, was it? I'm just defeated. Naturally, I was analyzing what a weight of 20,000 rubles feels like on one's head. Have I not told you that as a detective, it's my business to know what other people do not? This is a mere tomfoolery, my boy. Oh, no, no. Um, well. Why are you hanging from that hook before then? Isn't it obvious? To properly assess the weight of the 20,000 rubles, naturally. We should determine if it would bend that considered looking hook on the wall, so full of brag and bounce. I never know whether to take this man seriously or not. Oh, you again, the great detective. Oh, Inspector, if I have been looking for you. I have something to report to you most urgently. Well, might try looking for me somewhere other than a hook on the wall next time. I mean, I guess there is a possibility Hosonaga is the culprit, but I, I doubt that. Although it'd be a cool twist to do that in the second case, right? What is it to report? Speak. An urgent report, report can a great detective can mean but one thing. But I mean, it's got to be the captain at this point, right? Even though we haven't met him yet. Yes. The case of the curious murder that took place last night here on this vessel, the steamship Borgana, has been solved by me, naturally. What? I mean, she reacted extremely to that. Really? Yes, I have eliminated all other possibilities. No ex other explanations exist. So, allow me to illuminate all your minds. Are we about to have another sequence? Where I'm about to reveal my great detectives, greatly admired, great deduction, to the case. Ah, you have solved it. Even Hedgehog understands this case. We all knew who was responsible for killing Student Boy this morning. We found criminal in wardrobe. This is the stowaway. He has handcuffs to prove it. 
They didn't do it. And he took my handcuffs off so I could pose with them. Right? Right, Chomps? I can pose with you? Trouble is, there doesn't appear to be anyone else who could have killed the victim. Because as everyone knows, the cabin door was bolted shut from the inside. That means the culprit must be someone who was inside the cabin. Yes, it's what's called a locked room mystery in detective story. Oh! That's why Suzato fixed the bookcase earlier. So we could actually tell that it did it again. Remember, I thought she was just contaminating the crime scene. Yes, it's what's called a locked room mystery in detective stories. Da, ah, locked room. That is point. The room was locked. Can't deny that. But uh, okay, so part of me still kind of thinks the dancer did it, right? What would her motive be? He's like, if it was like the captain or someone. We could just say that it has to do with like Cosmo's purpose in Britain, you know, it's British Japanese politics, right? But she did it. If it was personal, what might I kill Cosmo? Because he saw the speckled band? <laughs> There's no way the bolt could have been drawn across from outside the cabin. You're quite mistaken. Cabin next door? Not a so called locked room at all. What? Not being smarter than me. I figured this out 10 minutes ago. Oh, yes, there's another entrance. An entrance used last night by the culprit or did they gain access to the cabin despite the bolted door but it weren't the snake did not kill kazuma where we are not going with that what other entrance we never discovered one why gibbs open mouthed at you even as we speak the ventilator man the ventilator ha 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 you think this is funny cannot even put put my arm through that hole that's because your arms are as thick as tree trunks. Although, what could have happened if the snake killed? Well, there's still the headache thing. Yeah, because I, my assumption is the food was drugged. It's not a gas, which means this was premeditated. But what could have happened? Snake kills Cosmo. Dancer realizes it, right? And then she realizes, uh oh, that's bad because, you know, he's an important person. So she goes to the captain. She's like, Captain, Captain, guy's dead. He's like, don't worry. We're going to pin it on that pin of that boy in the wardrobe that we know about. But we just haven't told anyone because we think it's funny. <laughs> I mean, I, I get, guess that theory works, but it doesn't account for the headache. You're suggesting that the culprit entered and left the victim's cabin through the tiny opening? It's not possible. Ah, oh, but it is. And last night, victim even witnessed the intruder in the act of passing through the ventilator. Mr. Sholmes, do you mean? Are you referring to the words Kazuma Sama wrote in his diary? Or, what's going on here? Pavlova thinks the snake killed Kazuma, but it didn't actually like strangle him because that's kind of silly. 1.23 a.m., you hear a faint whistling sound. 1.35 a.m., it's like some sort of speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill. Precisely, my dear madam. But what does it mean? What is this speckled band? The answer to that particular conundrum is in this very cabin. Mr. Sholmes, what are you doing? This is a distinct element of danger. If you're not, I am ready. What I'm about to expose for you all well, to see will shock you to your cores. Where, where's the hiding? I, I can't look. Under the hook? Behold! Yeah! Uh, what the? I don't know who's yelling. Okay, yeah. That's a, okay, it's a bigger snake than I thought. It could seriously choke someone, but I don't think we're going that route. Let me to introduce you all to the band. The speckled band. Snake. Indubitably. Where was it? Dot, dot, dot. Um, Mr. Sholmes, just one thing. Pray, what troubles you? Well, that snake. 
isn't really speckled, is it? It's more stripey, wouldn't you say? Oh, well, that is true. Hmm? Yes, you're right. I think in this case, you'd have to call it the stripe band. Well, what if we turn off the lights? Does it look different then? Wouldn't you? <laughs> you both see and observe with distinction. However, do you not think that is precisely the trap into which the culprit wishes you to fall? Oh my goodness, really? It's a trap! How exactly? I think perhaps it is time I explain the intricacies of my train of thought. Are you ready, Miss Pavlova? Sorry for the young man who died. That is all. His death has nothing to do with me. So thing has nothing to do with me. There are two conclusions I have drawn from the facts. Number one. Last night, your friend infiltrated the victim's cabin. Ah. And number two. That same friend was responsible for the victim losing his life. No. He's turned as white as a bowl of rice again. Thomas must be right. He said the nail on the head. This young woman's friend killed Mr. Arsogi? <laughs> he's actually, he's the snake. He's being controlled by the snake. Looks like he can't speak with that snake coiled around his head. How do you as little movement as possible, Seaman? You don't want the fangs of that long friend in your neck. And of course, we still haven't accounted for the shoe polish or the purple thing. So everyone, let us begin. And obviously the fact that Sholmes is doing this without your nose game means this isn't the full truth of the case. Relax, Sholmes is proud to present his logic and reasoning spectacular. We're... Okay, yeah, we can do this. The Great Deduction. The game is afoot. Intruder's Identity. Miss Pavlova, moments ago you claimed the following. His death has nothing to do with me. This whole thing has nothing to do with me. You cannot deceive yourself. Yes, when you recall those horrid events, your aching heart smarts with pain. And it is that very pain that evidences your inextricable link to the victim's death. So we ask, what was the nature of this intruder that stole into the victim's cabin on that portentous night? Portentious? So portent. Portent. I don't know. Why naturally, it was the friend with which we boarded the vessel, was it not? Ah, oh, this suspected. Another telltale glance. <laughs> Without doubt, your friend is the writhing serpent we see before us. And yet, that fact leaves us in a quandary. The victim's written observations on the night in question tell of a speckled band. Was regrettably. The specimen's markings do not fit that description in any way. He's an angry snake. What explanation can we then give, pray? What was the sight that fell upon the victim's eyes last night? Oh, she's got something in her pocket. Oh, don't look at me. There's nothing to do with any of it. Oh, but it does. You have the answer to this quandary even now. Hidden behind your back. Oh. Oh, is that a snake skin? What you're trying but failing to conceal can only be the snake's sloud skin. Sloud? What does sloud mean? I was thinking like it shed its skin. Is that what. Sloud meaning? What? Shatter your. Okay, so. It's not that. Evidently, after the subtle and horrible crime, it's the most deadly friend of yours. Shed its original skin! Hey. I don't know what you're talking about. Last night, through the ventilator visible in this cabin, your then speckled friend slithered next door. 
Using the bell cord on the other side of the bridge, Serpent silently descended into the victim's quarters. And who wrote the message, obviously? Well, could have still been Pavlova, but... Maybe... Okay, maybe she did write it. Well, how would she know about the wardrobe? The dim light had appeared to the young old gentleman who was about to lose his life as a speckled band. Oh, you know, she could have actually heard Yunosuke talking through the vent. Like, oh, good night, guys. I'm gonna go sleep in my nice wardrobe now. In summary, the nature of this friend of yours, which last night infiltrated the scene of the crime, is a rare breed of snake whose markings change each time it thaws its skin. Snake so dreadful, I only imagine it would be found in the deepest depths of India. By India. How Mr. Russell, he died. Moving on, come to the heart of the matter, the grim demise of the victim. How did this young man lose his life, and why? According to the data of which I have been apprised, it appeared there were no visible signs of injury. Uh, oh, she could even think it was a- well, we don't know if it's a venomous snake. But she may think he was bitten. But the circumstances of the victim's death can only be explained by a terrible venom. Okay, not venomous. Okay, she thinks it was a strangling. Now, if we take that as fact, we can reasonably imagine there remains evidence to affirm it at the scene of the crime. Oh no, could there be? Yes! Examination of the deceased's body will prove the cause of death conclusively. The almost, but not quite, imperceptible puncture wounds left by the venomous fangs will seal the truth. It's the vestiges of the snake bite delivered by your terrifying friend. This... this makes no sense. No point feigning ignorance, Miss Pavlova. After the incident, you endeavored to hide everything, didn't you? Okay, that's true, that's true. But now your involuntary glance betrays the hiding place you chose. That's right. Get the evidence that links you to the victim's death in that traveling case. It better not be that bag I've been wanting to examine for like the past like two hours. You know, the one by the wardrobe. When we first met in this cabin, came to my attention that your case moved periodically. Your serpent assassin was restless inside, no doubt. You... you don't. It's telling that the victim made note of a low whistling sound that he heard minutes before his end. It's probably a gas, right? That's your signal, was it not? The sound you had used to train your serpent friend. Oh, actually, that could work. Train? Indeed! You put the serpent through this ventilator and wait. You appeared, you'd summon it back with a whistle. You couldn't know if the animal had done its duty, so you'd listen for signs of life next door. The victim appeared not to have been dispatched. You'd release the snake once more. Do you deny this snake has undergone such training? It's not true. Having slithered through the ventilator and down the bell cord, the creature needed only to sink its fangs in once. And its venom would course through the victim's veins, ending his existence forever. That is the true nature of the speckled band that took the poor man young man's life. There can be no doubt. My logic is infallible. Okay, let's um, just show the fall fallibles of that argument. Death by venomous snake bite. This concludes Herlock Sholmes' great deduction of the speckled band. My mic works, right? Okay, okay, just checking OBS. Yes. Wanted to make sure there wasn't another issue. Miss Pavlova's trender pet snake is a killing machine. There on the floor, you'll observe a saucer of milk. Promise of food is the key to training any creature. In incredible. You've solved the most <laughs> shot out of your nose <laughs> Amazing, your great deduction really lives up to its name. See now why Sherlock Holmes has become such a household name. 
My dear man, there was nothing remarkable. So I should say, would have done it with one left hand. Did they say that? Um, could I venture an opinion, Mr. Sholmes? But of course, what's on your mind? It's just, by your deductions before, some things don't quite make sense to me. To me. I welcome questions as, my, as to my method. We'll answer both loudly and proudly. Oh, well, good. First of all... <laughs> She's pulling out the notes. <laughs> Snakes are egg-laying -like creatures, part of the reptile family. You are well informed, madam. <laughs> and reptiles, um, don't drink milk. Well, I mean, we don't know milk was in there. Ah. Although, I, I did think, you know, when you see a saucer on the floor, you think milk, right? But you're the only mammals that like to drink milk, you see? So, not sure it would be possible to train a snake using milk as a reward. No matter. No doubt Miss Pavlova used some other treat to encourage your pet to do her bidding. Milk was merely an example. The logic holds. Well, there is something else. Snakes have no ears. Uh, they can hear her though, can't they? Wait, do they use like vibrations to hear or? So I'm not sure it would really be possible to signal a snake by whistling. But madam, what, what are the tales from Arabia? You not heard of that snakes that dance to the sound of a flute? Is that from Arabian Nights? I don't know which story, but it, it, it's gotta be, right? I think perhaps the performers play their music in time with the snake's natural movements. It's also in Runescape. Oh. I see. No hands, no feet, no ears? These creatures are so enough to be practically useless! Take it on on the snakes, Mr. Sholmes. Um, there is one other thing. You have more! Snakes use the scales on their bellies to propel themselves. So, are you really sure that a snake can manage to climb up a flat bell cord like the ones in the cabin? Then it should try harder. Please, don't be angry with me, Mr. Sholmes. Point is, even if the snake had gone through the ventilator to the next door cabin, couldn't have come back without help. Oh, okay, okay. What I'm trying to say... is that there are a number of reasons why it's difficult to imagine the snake could have had a part in this. I think we need to step in and help again. <gasps> yeah, let me pose. Let me pose. Oh, no, you don't mean. Yes, we need to modify Mr. Sholmes' latest deductions, turn them into the great ones they ought to be. I had a feeling that was coming. All right, let's give it a try. Just what I was waiting for, Mr. Naruhoto. Yes, right. So, cast your eyes down to your wrists again. <gasps> I can pose, I can pose. I'm free. You've done it again. Handcuffs are gone. Where do they go? You're not. Just see they're restored after. Oh, come on. You you even think it's not me. Why do they have to be restored? Really wish you'd leave them off. Now, everyone, let us begin. Herlock Sholmes is proud to present Logic and Reasoning Spectacular. Vision 2.0. Hold it! Can we... Hold on, can we skip this? Ah, we can't... Hold on, we're... Let's skip. Just for now, just for now. Okay, we cannot deceive yourself. The aching heart, okay, okay, stop skipping. She does have a pained expression on her face. Yes, that's true. Looks as though Cosmo's death is weighing heavily on your mind. You're not sure that Mr. Trump's is read her correctly, is that it? Could be some other way to interpret her expression then? She's looking at her hand when she bit. Take a moment. You need to look very closely at Miss Pavlova. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that. 
How have we not noticed that? Also. Hey, Snake. Claw Scratch? So she does have another pet? Looks like a very painful wound. Looks like a scratch made by some kind of small animal. What else could be a speckled band? It was a <laughs> fairly recently, too. Every scratch here doesn't appear to be around here. Oh, we have to present, yes. right. Claw scratch. Yes, when you recall those horde events, <laughs> that claw scratch smarts with pain. Indeed! Simple observation appeals. The wound is fresh. Miss Pavlova, did you in fact receive that scratch? Sometime last night? Ah! When I think about the young man who died next door, I feel so sad. I'm sad the pain from this wound is worse. And is that very pain? The evidence is your. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We ask. It's the friend that boarded this vessel, was it not? I suspected. Another telltale glance. Without a doubt, your friend is the writhing serpent. We see. Yeah, okay. Seems like the scratch mark in the back of Miss Pavlova's hand. It's made by this friend of hers, doesn't it? Snakes don't have claws, do they? No, they don't. I don't even have hands or feet on which claws might, might grow. Now well, then, Snake isn't her pet. What is? It's the true identity of this friend of hers. You follow her gaze, now you hold on. That's where we'll find the answer. She's looking right at me! I'm the pet! Aw. Oh. Is that a monkey? Oh, no, it's a cat. She said that she didn't have a cat, though. She wouldn't lie to us, would she? Look at the photograph in this frame. Must be something Miss Pablo brought with her when she ran away. Ah, I, I forgot to present again. Little kid. Yes. Was that photo always there? Like, I don't think that's been there, has it? Maybe it was. Without doubt, your little friend is the little kitten we see before us. Yes, the scratch on the back of your hand makes that abundantly clear. Oh no. Where'd the snake come from then? The whereabouts of this black kitten isn't clear. What is clear? That you brought up the animal with you when you ran away, didn't you? Ah! We just killed her. Darka is my best friend. Couldn't leave her behind. Okay, not Kashka. Could have been a Kikonia reference. Darka would appear to be a Russian blue. And yet, that fact leaves us in a quandary. The victim's written observations on the night in question tell of a speckled band. Whereas, regrettably, this specimen's markings do not fit that description in any way. Where did the snake come from then? What explanation can we then give, pray? What was the sight that fell upon the victim's eyes last night? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. You see that? Yeah, she just... She just left it in her pocket, no one would have ever known I Yep. I guess toys like that are Mr. Shelm's specialty. And it's really nice of her to repeat it for us. The detection was his specialty. Wait, wait, what's the other line? Or maybe making me believe that was a ploy, too. Anyway, I know how to believe that's the skin of a snake. In which case, what is she hiding behind her back? Yeah, I'm just gonna um, look behind you. Yeah, I'm... Oh, she's got something in it. Oh. Do I have to examine it first? Speckled is a band, but what is it? Soft and fluffy. He's a cloth of some sort. We like a handle on it. Maybe it's a cat. Oh! So it's common in the West, apparently. How is it a toy for cats? It's like to chase the band around and paw on it. So it was. Guys, we seeing the toy? Cat's toy. Okay. Yes! 
Was, was the cat up on the ventilator playing with it? Yes! I think you're trying to, but failing to conceal his, um, a cat's toy. Precisely! The true nature of the now infamous speckled band. So the snake thing in the opening cutscene was just, it was a ploy of a trick by Sholmes. This was this toy that you dangled through the ventilator. You waved it around, I presume? Naturally, the victim could not fail to notice it. But why? For what? Okay, was it her? For what reason? My dear boy, you can only be one answer to that. She wanted to play with Kazuma. After her feline friend disappeared through the ventilator into the neighboring cabin, Miss Pavlova. Oh! Attempted to use the speckled cat's toy to incite the creature to return. Ah. In summary, the nature of this friend in Miss Pavlova's, which last night infiltrated the scene of the crime, is a built blithesome Gresham blue breed of cat by the name of Darka. Yeah, she just died. Truly troublesome feline, young Darka is proving to be. She must be caged once found. You'll forgive us for borrowing the photograph of your pet, Miss Pavlova. Photograph. Oh, yeah, that's important. ER is in it. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, court record? Do I have the TR in the evidence? No. But maybe uh, the TR here is different from the one we have, I guess? Or, I don't know, the cat is evident. The bell! I can't see anything else that stands out besides the tiara. The fact that it's mentioned means that it's got to be important, right? Like, maybe one of these jewels was swapped out or something? It was after I gave her food last night. That's when it happened. She scratched the back of my hand, then ran up the bell cord. Before I could do anything, she had disappeared through the ventilator. Right, go. She was so naughty. So you try to get me framed for murder over the cat? Beloved kitten. Oh, wait, no, she still, I think, is probably a co conspirator. But well, it all started because of a cat. Moving on, come to the heart of the matter the grim demise of the victim. Like, she wouldn't kill him just because she, he found out she had a cat, right? How did this young man lose his life? And why? According to the data of which I have been apprised, it would appear there were no visible signs of injury. Ah. Uh. In fact, the circumstances of the victim's death can only be explained by a terrible venom. Cat venom, of course. What he says is true. There are no signs of a wound anywhere in Cosmo's body. That's right. But, you know, Cosmo was a poison. Yes, it would seem so. Um, what if it was um, like a rare poison they only have in, where was it, South America? Give him the information he's missing now. Wait. We can just, well, oh, does he? Has he not seen it? Oh, I guess yeah, Hosonaga gave it to us, didn't he? Yes. I thought it was Shroms that gave it to us, but. In fact, circumstances of the victim's death can only be proved by the post-mortem report. Oh, uh, yes, I knew it was one or the other. His neck was... Indeed, the breaking of the cervical vertebrae is fatal. Where did the snake come from? Only that Goliath will be strong enough to survive that. The man Stroganov isn't some immortal freak, you know? The jury is out. Anyway. You have a good authority that the victim's neck was broken. Now, if we take that as fact. We can reasonably imagine there remains evidence to affirm it at the scene of the crime. Oh no, could there be? Yes! Examination of the deceased, deceased's body proved the cause of death conclusively. Well, I've never even seen his body, so how would we prove that? Dead because his neck was broken. In other words, he was probably struck by something, or someone. The distinct possibility? As if yet no weapon has been found, though. Only Darker didn't silently creep up behind Cosmo and deal a fatal blow. You don't know. 
I suppose. Possible that he had a fall and hit the hard ground awkwardly. Could have been a terrible act of misfortune that he broke his neck completely by accident. Oh, yes. Bad fall could explain it. Rather hard to believe Kazuma Sama, though. He wasn't a clumsy man. <coughs> Need to fix this deduction somehow. Is there anything from the scene that can explain what happened? Ah. I, I don't know what this is, but I assume it's this. Wait, what is this? They're writing. Well. I, I, I don't think wardrobe has anything to do with it. So I assume it's this, but I still don't... I don't get this. Yes! Like, there's the shoe polish implied that, like, he slid on the floor, but what's the pink thing? Prove the cause of death conclusively. This particular mark, so prominently visible next to the victim's body, is a deposit of shoe polish. It's a deposit of shoe polish. Shoe polish? Indeed. Positively identified by a little analysis device they constructed, I carry now as a matter of course. Beeswax, tallow, and dye were my results. The undeniable ingredients of shoe polish. Tallow is like meat, right? I, I don't I don't know how they make it, but don't they use that in candles too? The color of the polish is a perfect match to the color of Mr. Asobi's lace leather shoes. Okay, I, I, I thought I remembered it not matching your shoes. Or is it not your Nosuke shoes or something? Looking at this mark, it's not hard to imagine what happened. For some reason, Mr. Asobi must have caught his foot at that point on the floor and tripped. Please, no. And by a dreadful turn of misfortune, Caught his neck against some immovable object as he fell to the floor. Suffering a fatal blow to the spine, victim's vertebrae shattered. In that instant, he lost his life. No! I don't know. I don't know anything about this. They're really true, Miss Pavlova. Old oh, snap. What about the evidence left at the scene where Mr. Asogi left his life? Yes, the facts are as clear as day to me. You did all you could to conceal the incriminating evidence. Was the- oh, the pink thing was the cat's bell on its neck. See, I, I made that connection, right? Like, I saw the bell, I was like, oh yeah, there's a bell thing at the scene of the crown. But I was like, why would a cat's bell be pink? That's just silly. Yeah, the traveling case. I don't believe it. That's me really tripped over and now he's no more? Can't be true. I refuse to accept it. Well, it's hard to believe, but the marker on the floor does seem to suggest that's what happened. But this part of Mr. Sholmes' deduction is right. Miss Pavlova is trying to hide some evidence that would prove it. Here in this cab, and somewhere in the direction that she just cast her eyes. Have a good look around. Um is there not the picture again? The tiara? The... Is there... Is it the tiara? Hold on, I... I can't really look around, so I guess it's gotta be. Somebody appears to have dropped 20,000 rubles here! It hasn't been dropped, it's been placed. Oh, hold on, hold on, what's in here, what's in here? We haven't gotten to look in here yet. There we go. Remember, I think Sholmes examined it, but he said there wasn't much in there. I think I've seen it somewhere before. Okay, okay. Yes! I knew the TR didn't feel right. So you hid the evidence that links you to the victim's death in that waste paper basket. Ah... Oh. Here we have a fragment of some intricate glass object, it would seem. One that has a familiar air, in fact. Precisely, on another piece of broken glass on the floor of Mr. Asobi's cabin. As you can see, two pieces fit together perfectly. Oh, he had it in his pocket this whole time? Oh no. 
So, Miss Apocalypse, shall we consider what this tells us? Why would it be part of this glass object, which was evidently broken at the scene of the victim's death, should be found in the waste paper basket in your cabin? What I'm going to assume happened, he did trip over the cat, right? Presumably the cat. And fell. I think he did not die. He did not, like, break his neck or whatever, right? He just fell and probably passed out because it hurt, it hurt and the gas, right? Well, oh, well. okay, she could have actually just been whistling. But that doesn't explain the headaches. So, the drug food theory still holds. Because I, I always preferred that over the gas for some reason. I forget why. But the food was drugged, right? And so, you know, he kind of fell and he's like, I'm so weak, I'm drugged. And then Pavlova freaks out. And covers some stuff up while the real culprit, who is either strong enough or cap the captain, probably the captain, you know, does his stuff. And at the very end, he steers the ship, the left or right or wh whichever way, presses the bolt to shut, case closed. Yeah! You're well acquainted with this glass bell, are you not? I... I don't... I don't know, is the hush Russian accent of yours won't save you, save you this time, dear girl? Why? Because we have conclusive evidence linking you to the bell in question. What? Take it away, Mr. Dariyoto. <laughs> he has no idea. Um, yes. The evidence linking it to the... is the photograph. Yes! Look at the photograph, you can clearly see... Hanging from darkest collar. The very glass bell in question. It's glass? How do you make a bell out of glass? Put it on a cat. I... The truth is caught up with you, Miss Pavlova. The young man who lost his life last night did so after a truly inauspicious fall. And the cause of that fateful stumble? Your absent feline friend, Darka! Can I have a breakdown? Or I couldn't... Couldn't tell anyone. I'm... Sorry. Death by tripping over a cat. I'm not convinced the case is over. Deduction complete. Elementary. Okay, I'm gonna stop there because I am 100% convinced there's still more to go. Uh, and my room is probably like 80 degrees now. <laughs> so <laughs> that is enough for me. Is I know for a fact it's not over yet. I just finished a, an anime, Shoshiman. You've heard of it? It's made by the author of Hyoka. It's the exact same feeling I had after watching episode 8. I was like, yeah, this arc ain't over again. And then the last two episodes happened and they were the, like, you should go watch Shoshiman if you haven't already. Um, I would say, like, the first, the first arc is basically just a worse version of Hyoka. But the way the second arc goes, it, it does something Hyoka couldn't. And I love it for that. I, I'm a big fan of Hyoka, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Anyways. See you guys next time. Bye.